Okay. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Ryan Moore. This is the Game or Die channel, and uh, we're moving. And so in the process of moving, I have to tear down my studio that I use to stream for work and for uh, the channel as well, for the YouTube channel, the Twitch channel, and the Rumble, X, uh, Kick, every, everything else, <laughs> wherever I stream. This is the place where the magic happens. And I wanted to document that and also show you guys kind of what the setup looks like. I know a lot of people always ask, what uh, gear do you have? What type of editing rig do you have? And you're gonna be able to see a little bit of that today in this video. We are gonna be packing up and then moving it to the new house. And then I'm gonna be building a completely different and new studio. I'm very excited about it, but for now, let's uh, get started. So this is the entrance here and you can see Jack is kind of, uh, <laughs> he's garden, garden watch over the studio. And this is one of my favorite things that I own. My mother-in-law gave this to me and she used to work as a manager of Jack in the Box and she gave it to me afterwards. And man, I love this thing, so thank you. Anyways, let's get into the actual studio. Ah! So this is the studio space and this is the first room of the studio. And as you can see, we got my editing computers, we'll talk about it in a second, my gun collection, and where all the PCs in the house are actually stored. This is actually a server rack, an actual server rack, a Dell server rack, and it houses multiple PCs, gaming PCs, and servers down at the bottom, all on power backup with our networking gear as well, NAS devices, uh, battery backups, pretty much everything you can think of that you need for a live streaming event, computers, we even got a projector as well up there uh, for other things. <laughs> so it is just kind of the hub or the, the networking center of the house, really. And it's down here in the basement, which I love. Now, as you can see, I do have a lot of guns. Not as many guns as I would like, and I hope to get more very soon, but I've got a good collection of going on. A couple uh, shotgun, AR, a couple um, rifles, and some handguns as well. But here is the editing computer. The editing computer is where I sit down and do all the work for various videos. And then also the, I'm trying to do it. There we go, the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> the live stream is uh, also there. That's one computer, three monitors, and that's where I sit down and I do office work as well. And, you know, editing videos and also getting everything set up for the live stream. But as you can see, there is also another room behind me, which is the actual studio. So let's go ahead and get started and see the actual studio space itself. All right, so here is the studio space. This is what it looks like when I walk into a room or into the studio. I've got my blitz cabinet in one corner and this is where some of the uh, drum set that we will be doing and setting up uh, rock band drum streams as well. And a couple cameras actually down here and down here for various other things that I need. And then we got the background. And let me show off the background just a little bit here. We've got a Canon XL1S. This is one of my favorite cameras that I used to have when it first came out in the early 2000s. Uh, one, the, the movie 28 Days Later actually was shot on it. So that was really cool to have a cinema camera uh, for my own pleasure. That was awesome. And then just various knickknacks. You can see um, one of my uh, core group kids from church actually gave me this mask. Um, when he went to Italy and it's purple because purple's my favorite color. So I have that there in, in memory of Ryan. And then also a lot of other knickknacks and, and stuff, maracas, the Batman batarang. So then the Zelda thing that I've talked about uh, a bunch over the course of the streams. And my wife actually got me this pirate ship when uh, we were dating. It was the first Christmas that we were dating together and she got me this pirate ship. And it's my, it, this is another one of my favorite things. I love it. You can see the Cuphead cup and Batman and all the lava lamps. And then the Mortal Kombat cabinet that does definitely work. Um, we'll be doing more of this stuff in the near future with the new studio. And then some more stuff as my soldering station for work that I use my VR headset. And then where I sit. Yes, this is where I sit. This is what I see 
on stream and we got the mixer and the microphone and then all the uh, stream decks, tablets, multiple monitors and everything like that. And so it is, it is a lot. And then you can also see the, the other camera that I have, this is my main camera. This is a Zcam E2 M4 and uh, it is the lifeblood of the studio basically. It is the thing that I really, really try to make these streams look fantastic is by using this camera. It's 35 millimeter lens, uh, prime lens, and no autofocus and all that fun stuff. Go look it up if you ever, if you ever want to kind of check some of that stuff out. But you can see I got a fan going on up in the ceiling uh, and all the lighting around, which makes this place not only fun for you guys to see on stream, but also so that I can enjoy it. I, you know, sit there with the lights on or off or different colors every once in a while, just kind of hang out and relax in that room. Play some games off stream sometimes, but not very often, not over the course of the last seven months or eight months or so, but this is my studio and I love it. And so I hope everyone liked this little uh, kind of behind the scenes look at what this original studio here in Tennessee looks like for our first house, but now that we're moving, I get to build a whole new one. And man, I cannot be happier with how the um, studio of this place turned out. It's one of my favorite uh, projects I've ever worked on. And I cannot wait to show you guys the new place. So until then, thank you so much for watching this little behind the scenes video. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the new place. Look for the new studio tour video sometime maybe next year. <laughs> early next year maybe maybe around Christmas who knows I love doing things during Christmas I've got a lot of stuff on my mind but maybe maybe that'll be fun for for Christmas so anyways guys thank you so much have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you later